Hey everyone, Christian here with a little uh, review on, I'm going to start doing reviews on palm species and I'm going to start here at the nursery with uh, this palm here which is Pseudophoenix sargentii variation sargentii. Now this plant, this palm comes in multiple varieties. There's this type, variation sargentii, there is uh, variation sawanai and there's variation naviciana. Sargentii is actually one of the 12 native uh, palms to Florida, and it's only native to a few of the Keys in, a, in an island south of Key Biscayne called Elliott Key. Um, and it is a uh, pretty endangered in habitat in Florida. However, it is, it, is, it is quite common, so to speak. It's not a rare uh, palm in cultivation, uh, especially in central and south Florida. Now, this palm is uh, crown shafted, and uh, it's only one of two crown shafted native palms of Florida, the other being the royal. And you can see it kind of has a silvery hue about its uh, crown, and it has um, the leaf faces, the margins tend to be anywhere between uh, one to three inches, and depending on the variety. On Sargentii here, you're looking at uh, about two inches, depending on you can see where it has kind of started to take off, and usually that's typical. Once it gets, once the base gets formed, it, it'll start to take off a little bit more. And this palm was once used to make, uh, they call it the Sergeant's Cherry Palm. It was once used to make uh, palm wine, which, as much as you can try, I've never had palm wine that actually was something I could, I could take, I could drink. Uh, it's quite rough to say the least. So, but you know, you never know. There might be some that that are. Uh, that, that are sweetened. Um, you'll find those in and around Florida. People do make palm wine. It's often from uh, the Pindo palm, Butea capitata. But this one was also used. Um, it has a sweet uh, fruit to it. So it also has uh, slightly plumose leaflets. They're not just pinnate, meaning they actually grow in more than one direction, as you can see here. And they tend to recurve towards the end of the petiole, as you can it kind of they kind of turn 90 degrees there, not recurve, but actually twist. That's a better term there. So um, this is a beautiful plant. It tolerates quite a bit of drought uh, once established, and it will tolerate some uh, some upper 20s for a little bit. I wouldn't. I would say it's a solid 9B plant um, to 10A. Uh, I mean, I've seen them growing in 9B climates or supposed 9B climates. I'd say they're probably perfectly fine anywhere from 10A and up. So um, you can give it a chance. There's other species in this genus that do grow a little bit faster. They're not gonna be as cold hardy. Uh, they're native to, native to the Dominican Republic, Haiti, uh, that area. And so, you know, th there's, if you have a warmer climate, that might be a better choice, but this is a, a Florida native. You know, it is uh, one worth growing. And uh, it, as, as, as you can see, it is just about to go into uh, flower here. This is a peduncular bract and that's going to open up and it's going to flower and hopefully produce some seed. So um, these kind of seed randomly throughout the year. Uh, some plants are reliable seeders. Uh, you know, they'll seed in the middle of the summer or in the, right at the start of fall or in the middle of the winter, which can be kind of rough depending on the cold weather here in Florida. But this one I've seen seed in September. This one will probably be ready in September. I've seen them seed. I just got seed myself about uh, three weeks ago from uh, one of the same uh, variety. So um, you can kind of look around. I would say that summer to fall is gonna be where you're gonna find seed on this, uh, in Florida at least, and even the Southern Hemisphere you're gonna, it's gonna be flip-flopped. So anyway, that's a little wrap up on the uh, Pseudophoenix sargentii, variation sargentii, the Sargent's cherry palm. Uh, hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, give it a thumbs up. And uh, if you like watching palm videos, uh, subscribe to the channel. There'll be many more of these to come. And leave a comment below if you have any questions um, about the plan or, or about the video. So anyways, have a nice weekend.